Okay, I'm in this barn out here. We've got some high wind here today. This is probably better than I'm in here anyway. You can hear this camera and hear this detector better. This is a XP Deus 2. Sort of reading around a little on the forums, you know. And You know, there's always going to be a question, you know, about maybe Deus 1 owners wanting to buy a Deus 2. Or people just want to buy a Deus 2. Anyway, I've been doing a little comparing here with Deus Mono. And I went and got my high-frequency elliptical call for the Deus 1 because I wanted to look at the middle band frequency-wise. And that's how I've got this machine set up. Okay? I've got Deus Mono locked at 32 kilohertz. You can get to about 31.7 on the mid-range on the high-frequency calls. And I don't have a round 9-inch high-frequency call for a Deus 1, okay? But we're going to compare Deus... Two, you know, against itself here. I'm going to show you what I see that's the biggest difference. And I don't know what this means. And I'm I'm going to vary the disk in this fast program. Okay, I'm in Deus Mono right now. And I've got these programs, the two programs set up the same. Same reactivity, same disk setting, but I may raise the disk a little in the fast program 6.1 and that's how this machine comes with a default setting 6.1 okay and I've got it all set up the same pitch tones okay and I've got part of two square nails laying here over a clad dime on a two before I know the lighting in here is not that good but follow along here okay Deus Mono okay that's reactivity 3 in both of these programs here fast and Deus Mono and I'll let you listen Okay, so I'm getting a little action on that dime there. Now, there's no sound on them nails at 6.1 with either one of these programs. Now, here's the biggest difference. Look what happens here. See there? Now, I'm about five inches. Now, if I speed up the sweep, I don't get anything, okay? Now, let's go over here to this fast program. Okay. Now, I've got this auto scan turned off so that Deus Mono frequency don't run on me, okay? You see how much faster I can sweep that thing in multi-frequency? Look at that. I'm about, I'm going to say I'm, I'm eight inches above that nail right there, right now. Okay, now let's go back. Let's go back to mono here. See, now I'm sweeping over that right now, and I ain't, I'm not getting anything. I'm about seven, six inches. See there? If I slow down. Now, I can't scan this thing for EMI, you know. I'm keeping it in this frequency because I'm trying to keep it in the highest band you can run that Deus 1 with an HF call, okay? See, I'm, I'm getting it right there, but boys, when I get that call up there, look what happens. Just a little short shirt, and I got to go slow. Okay, and I'm going to go back over here to... I'm not sure even how this is going to apply in the field, but it looks like I'm seeing more call height. Okay, I'm in the fast program. See there? I'm way up over that thing now. Now, I lose it right there, but if I go a little lower, I don't know if you see how high I am above that thing. I'm pretty high above that nail on that dime there. Now, just for gee whiz, I played with this a little earlier. Let's come over this way right here and see what happens.
Okay, so I get some coal height there. Let's go to mono and see what we get. I got some coal height here earlier with mono. See, I get, see, I get the coal height here, sweeping that way right there, but I don't get it over here. Go back here to this. Now, I ain't played with any other programs to do it. It's just these two right here on this specific test, okay? Here's fast again. Hear that? It's more alert, too, and I've got these, I've got this detector set up the same way in both settings. Pretty far up there, right there. I start losing it now. Right there, I'm gonna go back one more time and look at mono. Okay, and we're gonna start down here close and start raising the coal. See there? Now, I tell you what it could be, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here watching this. See, I'm getting some call hot there now. But it may be because it may be the call position is so more, much more sensitive. Let's go back and look at it here one more time. That's what it is, see there? Look, I'm, see how far I can move that coal around? Watch it. See, I'm getting signal right there. I don't know if you can see this in that camera right there or not, but I'm getting signal on that dime and the coal. The coal is over here on, the, on the, this side of the nail. Let's go back to mono and check it one more time here. Now right, here's mono. See now over here, when I'm over here, see I don't get the signal with mono. See I'm over here and I'm not getting any signal. Now if I keep going over here and get real centered on it, you start hearing it. Well if I center that thing with that mono, I can get a signal on it, okay? Like I said, now I don't know how this is going to work in the wild, okay? I ran fast program this morning in a site and found a nickel. Boys, I got a lot more call latitude to hit that dime right here on this test right here. Now, this is in the air. I don't know how this works in the ground, okay? But it's monster difference. Of course, this fast program is supposed to be running at 40 kilohertz. All I'm trying to do is, you know, try to say, well, okay, if a person's got a DS1 with a 9-inch low frequency or high frequency call, well, that high band on that thing can be tough to hunt with probably in a relic site, a lot of cases. But the mid band you can use. I've used it. I used to have one, okay? But look at the, that call, I can move that thing around a lot of places and get that signal right there. But I can't do that in, I can't do that in mono. Not at 32 kilohertz anyway. At reactivity three with fast it being at reactivity three. This wind blows again. I'm outside here just for G whiz here. Now this is a concrete nail. It's square, okay? Uh, I checked the disc setting in mono at 32 kilohertz in this fast program. It seems like to me the disc setting behave, behaves very similar, okay? 6.1, nice and quiet. Okay. You start getting down 5.5, you get that right there, and that's that's in mono too. Okay. 
So the on this nail, now I can't speak for in the actual ground, okay? But on this concrete nail right here, the disc setting seems to, as far as now, I was running 32 kilohertz in that mono program now. In case somebody's wondering, you know, I try to do these where things do come into question. But now look, none of this applies to the ground per se, okay? I'm just doing a few tests. 